Hey guys, Silver Contrail here. Uh, today we're going to start a little mini series, I guess, uh, weekly. And what we'll do is every week I will basically show off what I played at my local tournament, uh, whether or not I do good or bad, and kind of give some of my thoughts on the future, I guess, <laughs> um, sort of in general. Uh, but we'll see. Basically, we started weekly tournaments uh, last week, and we had a tournament last week, Sunday. Uh, it was five rounds, went 5-0, and oh, and I was playing Harpy Hands. Like, I didn't have Dancers, so I played Hands in it. And then this week, uh, we had three-round tournament, with, uh, and I won with uh, Evels. Uh, it's not too much different from what you normally expect, so I'm going to go through it quickly. Uh, I've got like 11 minutes worth of video for my camera, so... We'll get through this pretty quick, and I'll give my thoughts on some of the stuff. So, should be fun. Um, yeah, so starting off uh, with the Evil Tiles, I'm playing three Evil Tile Weslo. This is probably the best Evil Tile because um, he just he works by himself. doesn't need anything else, uh, as opposed to Najashua. Najashua's a little bit more proactive, I guess you could say. Uh, he's faster, but it does require another card, either... It's basically some sort of tribute card. Um... But they're pretty okay, you know. Having both of them uh, at three, I think, is is the right call here. And pretty much everyone will will run this this ratio. Um, for the evil Sars, I'm playing. Oh, there it is. Uh, three Serratos. Uh, Serratos is a 1900 beat stick. He goes at 21 and he searches out an evil tile when he throws a monster by battle. That's only when, of course, he's summoned by an evil tile. Uh, otherwise, he's just a 1900 stick. And I was running one for a very long time. Decided to bump up to three. Liking three, that beat stick power is good, and I didn't realize how good it was until I started playing it. I was like, wait a second, 1900 attack, um, dinosaurs are not too bad. So I really like it at three. Um, may go to two just to test it, but um, I think this is a fine number. Um, my second favorite, Evelsar, because I really don't like uh, Serato that much, but I'll play it. But uh, my second favorite is definitely Diplo. Uh, Diplo is so cool, it comes out during the damage step sometimes, pops a back row, they can't respond with it. It's really funny. Uh, this card is just really, really nice. It's like a, it's like almost like a bestiary, and he's a little bit weak, but definitely not on volcano's level. And yeah, he's just a really, just a really good card. Sometimes you set him out because uh, he's not good in the matchup, but this format, everything has been good. Um, yeah, so I, I, I've been playing this deck since like 2012, so yeah, things have uh, things have changed since then. Um, in the past, you could set him out, and now it's like you keep it in against everything. Volcano, this guy is probably the best Evelsar. He's probably my favorite, and gets back another Evelsar. So you make your level 4 plays, or your rank 4 plays, pretty easily. That monster that it brings back is negated, and... Um, or it's not negated, but it can't attack, uh, which kind of sucks. And he's only 1,200, so he really sucks to draw into. But you play 3, keeping, hopefully, at least 2 in the deck if you draw 1. If you draw two, that really sucks. If you draw three, oh, you're going to lose. Um, and then lastly, Blaster. This is a uh, really, really good card for its destruction effect. Really good for a 20, re recurring 2800 beat stick. Um, it sets up Singularity at times. It doesn't hurt Singularity as much as you think. And uh, it also sets up Volcano plays early on by putting an Evelsar in the graveyard. So really good card. Really good card. Definitely suggest Blaster if you're playing Evels. Uh, moving on to the spells. Um, very standard choices for the next three here. Uh, three copies of Evo Diversity. This is the Rota. It searches out your Evo tiles, Westlo, and Najasha, whichever one you need. Um, there are lots of times where I'll have either I'll have Najasha or Evo Force, and I'll be like, or usually I'll have Evo Force, and I won't have anything else. And I'll, I'll be I I need to get this playoff to like win. And I'll be like, I can draw like one of six cards to get this playoff because all I need is either a Diversity or a Najasha, and I play three copies of each. And so it's really consistent. I I really do like this card. Um, big downside is you can only activate once per turn. The other big downside is that you pretty much never want to use its effect to search uh, an Evelsar, but I guess it's nice to have there. So I guess I can't really count that as a downside, I guess. Uh, as I mentioned, Evelforce, this is the single best combo maker in the deck, along with Njasho. Um This plus Njasho is just stupid. Like, every time I can get this playoff in, like, the mid-game, I feel like I can't lose. Uh, it's just too good. Uh, the tournament we played at... Again, pretty much every time I would have this, and then I would draw into uh, a Najasha or an Evo Force, or uh, excuse me, an Evo Diversity, I would just kind of say to myself, I'm going to win. <laughs> I mean, this is a game, um, which was always really a nice feeling. Um, it's a really good play. And of course, for consistency, because this deck is really consistent, um, playing through, du through duality, I think draw power is bad, 
uh, in this deck, but dualities are very, very nice. So I wouldn't play off starts at all, uh, but I definitely would play uh, the dualities here. Um, although it does kind of suck, like, if you need to make an Evil Force play and you have duality and you can't use it, or you need to choose one or the other. Uh, Double Lance. These guys are fun. Um, basically, they are here to make sure that your Xyz monster isn't going to get blown up by something stupid. Uh, they also make Serato kind of dangerous because now it can get over lots of things. Uh, it makes Diplo kind of dangerous, and it makes Volcano a little bit dangerous. Um, it just, you know, assuming they don't flip Torrential on you. <laughs> but uh, it saves you from Breakthrough, it saves you from Fiendish. Uh, it makes sure that when you bring out Logi and they flip Bottomless, you don't have to use Logi's effect to negate it. You can just use this, and then you're protected for the turn. Uh, two Typhoons. I think this is the right number. One-sided, of course. Um, but yeah, I think I think the Lance is kind of um, take some of the pressure off of Typhoon. Two enemy controller. Uh, the first effect is kind of useful at times. It's nice. Second effect uh, during my last game, the very last game that I played, I summoned my Serato. Basically, like, I had Serato in my hand. My opponent had Gurunix on the field, and I was like gonna lose, but he only had a thousand life points, and I had Serato, and then I top decked into enemy controller, and I was just like, summon Serato. Enemy controller, take your monster, attack for game. Very, very simple. Um, this card's great with Ninjasho, of course. If you tribute Ninjasho, take their monster, uh, bring out a Diplo, pop their back row, and then uh, overlay for a rank 4. Yeah, that's just too good. Um, or you can do other things with that, obviously. And then Book of Moon. Book of Moon's good as a defensive card. It's good as a combo card with Westlow. And uh, this is a really good card in general. So, uh, of course, Book of Moon here. If, if you could run, like, if you could run three Book of Moons in here, I would run three Book of Moons because it's an amazing card. Uh, lastly, for the traps, um, as you might expect, I am playing three of the new card, Evil Singularity. This card is very interesting because you are... It's a free it's a free Evelzar, which is great, and that's fine. Uh, but I had situations where I actually had two of these, and I was staring down a Garunex, and I was like, I can't kill this Garunex because Dalka... Lagia and Solda are all too weak to take it out in battle, and they can't, like, negate it unless I use another card. So I had two of them, and I was like, crap, I'm going to lose. Um, but I ended up coming back against that, I believe. I don't remember exactly how that happened. Uh, this card's just so, so, so nice. You know, every time you have this, and you're just like, okay, um, you know, my opponent you know, draws for their turn or something, flip this, um, bring out your Lagia, and now they have to, you know, get past your Solemn Judgment on legs, or bring out Sola. Um, being able to play Solda with this card is amazing. Um, it's also really nice. What I'll do is I'll make Lagia, and then uh, they'll do something and I'll negate it, and then I'll chain this, and I'll target those cards that I just attached. Or, well, one of them that I detached, and another one in my graveyard, and I'll bring them back, and I'll just go, you know, have another Lagia. And it's like, you know, have fun, bro. Um, you know, two Solemn Judgments. Uh, and then uh, three Finished Chains. Um, there are people who run three finished chains. There are people who run three breakthrough skills. I think the people that run three breakthrough skills are uh, a little silly because this card is so good at protecting your monsters from attacks. Yes, it loses to Typhoon. Yes, it is a little bit more predictable. Yes, it can't be used again. But the fact that it stops attacks, oh, it's so nice. One Solemn Warning. One Bottom Strip Hole. One Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. This card was actually really, really good. Um, let me put a last one in the graveyard that I wanted in the graveyard. Uh, again, a dead Evil Sars, that sort of thing. I wouldn't run no more than one, though. For the extra deck, uh, I'm running out of time here. Uh, one Lagia and two Lagia. What do you know? And guess what? Guess what? One Dalka, two Dalka. And, of course, one Solda and one Solda. Just one Solda. Um, Lagia is really, really good this format. Dalka is really, really good this format. Uh, sold is really, really good this format. Uh, all of these cards basically say no to 101, so they're not going to get taken. Um, and they can, uh, you know, hold their own against pretty much everything else. They're just really, really nice cards. Obviously, you only get sold off of, uh, Evo Singularity, but yeah, they're just you know, really, really good cards. Um, uh, for the rest of the extra deck, basically, you run generic 4 4s, four except for a couple of cards that are different. You know, so Exciton, 101, which is really nice in here. Um, number 60, because he's cool. Uh, King of the Infernal Ips, of course, you can detach a material, and you can get either Westlow or Najasho, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Maestroke, and Emerald, uh, because sometimes you want to recycle. 
cowboy to get over things. Uh, Utope. There are better cards than this to play this. <laughs> no, you can you can play this, but it's just like it's it was kind of a throne. Uh, Zenmeister is another one of those cards that's kind of exclusive to this deck. Uh, you use its effect to um, to flip your Westfall face down and then uh, Abyss Dweller, and that's about it. Yep. So I got a side deck, but I'm not gonna show it. Um, I said it goes a match. Yeah, that was my MVP. This was like the only side card I actually like, drew into. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about either this deck or about the series. I keep doing these, I think. We'll see what happens next week. I don't know what I'm going to play. Uh, maybe if I can get Sylvan's together, I'll play that. But I think this deck's really fun. If you want to play this deck, like, go out and get this stuff. It's really, really fun to play. It's really cheap. Um, it's pretty cool. And I've been playing, again, I've been playing this deck for like two years, so or a year. So it's pretty fun. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, then...